All right, so look up, please. So here was a question. They said, evaluate the limit of um, x cubed minus 1 all over x squared minus 1 as x approaches 1. Now, to solve this, listen up, please. Listen up, please. To solve this, your solution to this is dependent on first things. First, I've said, if you're fast in writing, your first task would be using direct substitution. So if I use using direct, please, subs in full is substitution. So put x as equal to 1 here, of course, because as x approaches 1. Put x as equal to 1 here, that gives you 1 cubed, that's x cubed, minus 1 all over x squared. 1 squared minus 1. That's equal to 1 cubed is 1 minus 1 all over 1 squared is 1 minus 1. If I do this, this gives you what there? 0 minus, sorry, 0 all over, this equal to what there? Undefined. All right, that's the first tax there. Now, in solving this from the actual sense, if I look at this, this is a difference of two square question as well as a difference of what there? Two cube. I know that x cube minus one, this is the same thing as saying x cube minus what there? One cube. They're the same thing. Because one cube gives you what there? One. So this and this are the same thing. It's called difference of two cube. Now, what's the difference of two cube? If I have a cube, if I have a cube minus b cube, what does this give me? If I expand this, what do you have there? This gives you a minus b into a squared. Huh? Huh? Hold on now. Uh huh? <laughs> Hold on. This is difference of two cubo, not difference of two square. This gets you plus what there? A B plus B squared. This is the difference of two cube. So if I have two terms subtracting and they are being cubed, what you have there is A minus B, the first minus second, multiplying the first squared plus the product of the first and second, that's A B, then plus b squared. If I multiply these two, I'll have this. So you need this thing here, this concept. Please take note. In essence, if I say x plus 3, sorry, x cubed, x cubed minus 1 cubed will be equal to, of course, in this case here, a is x. So if I have a, that becomes what there? x minus b. What's b here? 1. So this into 1 into a squared. What's a here? x. So it becomes what there? x squared plus a b. a b is a times b. That's this times this. 3 x times 1 gives you what there? So plus x plus next up. Oh, sh sh should I think full? So I'm going to go and revise and be like, why did you keep the 1? I thought you said it's a b. Why am I saying only x? What happened to the b? Let me write it out. Plus, finally, b squared. What's b there? That becomes what there? 1 squared. This should actually be in its round bracket. Simplifying this, this is equal to, what do you have here? x minus 1, this into, this gives you x squared. This gives you x squared plus x times 1 x plus 1 squared is what there? 1. So look up, please. Look up. Look up. What this means is that the value of x cubed, x cubed minus 1, is the same thing as me writing it as x minus 1, this into x squared plus x plus 1. That's what I'm seeing here. All right? So to solve this one here, you need an idea of difference of two cubes. That's this. I've showed you how I got that. Okay? One. 
is the same thing as what there one cube so i have this with this i am done with numerator let's go to denominator in denominator i have what there x squared minus one so i have x squared minus one this becomes what there a difference of what two square x squared minus one is same as what there x squared minus one squared because one squared gives you one is called a difference of two squares please it's called a difference of two square please right for difference of two square if i have a squared minus b squared what do i get there a minus b into what there a plus b please all of these things here are things you should have done before now they are quite old mathematical concepts quite old all right in essence if i have x minus x squared minus one squared what do you have here a what's a here x minus what's b here one into what there x plus one all right so in essence x squared plus x squared minus one is equal to this if i substitute look up please if i substitute substituting substituting i have that this one here i have that x cubed minus one all over x squared minus one is equal to this one here we said it was a difference of two q and from that stuff that we got this answer we said the value is equal to x minus one into x squared plus x plus one we had this that's for numerator all over all over for denominator we said this was a difference of two squares and that is x minus one into what there x plus one looking at this looking at this i can see that i have x minus one x minus one both of these terms here can cancel out that means from here this will cancel this so what do i have there x squared plus x plus one all over x plus one so i have this so you have this term here at this point you now substitute please as x approaches what there one. one so put x at one at this point you now say substitute substitute x as equal to one put x as one here what do you have here one squared plus one plus one that becomes x squared that's one squared plus x one plus an actual one there all over what do you have there x plus one what's x there one plus one this is equal to x squared is one plus one two plus one three three all over one plus one your answer is three over two so this was from last year you have this as three all over two if you have x to the power three minus so listen 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 in some cases you could have this as x listen in some cases you could have this as x cubed minus 27 all over x squared minus 9. again in this point it has to do with how well you can break this down this is same as x cubed minus 27 is what there 3 cubed 3 to power 3 that's 3 cubed 27 all over x squared minus 9 is what there 3 squared from here follow this so in this point what you have here is x minus 3 into x squared plus x times 3 plus 3 squared just leave that person there that's it so this was davis's past question last year right
does he say the same kind of questions i think so when i was here when i was following up i think he said the same thing the same pattern so that was the question last year let's look at another question he gave on limits and then we can proceed um please look up for five marks last year you, they gave you this one here this will be in college for five marks last year they gave you this this will be in engineering also learn no how do you solve this one here again the first thing you want to observe is that i have what there a square root and when you have a square root, what do you do rationalize and when it comes to rationalize what's the first thing you do there get the conjugate what does it mean to get conjugate it means that term that has square root there's a sign between that term and another term so what do you do here change the sign to what there positive so you now say conjugate conjugate the conjugate of root x plus 4 minus 2 is equal to what there root x plus 4 uh -huh, plus 2 so you have this we've said for conjugates just change the sign in between them to the opposite if it's minus it becomes plus if it's plus it becomes minus that's it all right when you're done with this what next you will multiply both numerator and what there denominator by what there the conjugate so take numerator this is equal to numerator is x multiply this by the conjugate here that's root x plus 4 plus 2. This all over multiply denominator. This one here root x plus 4 minus 2. This multiplies each conjugate root x plus 4 plus 2. You have this. So multiply, multiply numerator and denominator by conjugate. This one times conjugate this one times conjugate that's all let's simplify this this is equal to from our first example you know that this man here don't expand yet it might cancel out so i'll keep this i'll keep this as x into root x plus four plus two this all over in expanding this what do you have the first thing you want to remember that when it comes to expanding you take the first term here, multiply everything here. That's how you expand terms in brackets. Of course, take the first term here, multiply everything here. That becomes first term here is root x plus 4. Multiply everything here. What do you have there? x plus 4 in square root plus 2. I took the first term here. I multiplied everything here. Second term here is what? Use minus 2, multiply everything here, root x plus 4 plus 2. All right, so you have this. Use first term, multiply everything here. Use second term, minus 2, multiply everything here. So what do we have here? Um, from this, this would be equal to, again, do not expand this one as we did previously. Don't expand it, just leave it there. That's x into root x plus 4 plus 2. This all over. For this one here, what do I have there? This times this, what do I have there? Of course, x plus 4 root x plus 4 multiplying root x plus 4. Whenever you have the same term in square root multiplying, it becomes that term. So this gives you x plus 4, this then plus this times 2 gives you what there that's 2 root x plus 4 okay next up minus 2 into this what do you have there minus 2 root x plus 4 minus plus minus 2 times 2 so you have this Let's simplify this. This is equal to x into 
root x plus 4 plus 2 all over for this. What do I have here? x plus 4. Okay. Next up, uh, this will cancel this, Abby. Same thing, this cancel this. What do you have here? Minus 4. This will be equal to, here I have x into root x plus 4 plus 2 all over from here. 4 minus 4 cancels out. What do you have there? x. From here, these two x can cancel out. If I cancel x, if I cancel x, x here, 1, x here, 1. So what do you have there? Roots x plus 4 plus 2 all over 1. Okay? This x cancel this x here, so it's 1. Anything all over 1 gives you what there? That same thing. So I'm having this as root x plus 4 plus 2. At this point, I am done simplifying. What do you hear? Put x as equal to... What limit were you given here? Put x as 0. If I put x as 0, this is equal to root x plus 4 becomes what there? 0 plus 4 plus 2. And that's equal to root 0 plus 4, 4 plus 2. And that's equal to root 4 is what there? 2 plus 2. And that gives you what? 4. So the answer there is 4. So that's it. Don't forget, whenever you see a square root sign. What do you do? Rationalize. That's what you do. I'm coming. So that's your five marks, literally.